Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today I'll be going over range, standard deviation, and variance. Um, so if you haven't seen the other statistic videos in our playlist, we strongly encourage you to check those out before you check these out. Because I will be referencing things like uh, mean, um, and et cetera, and sets. And today I'll be going over the range, standard deviation, variance for discrete system, discrete sets. Um, and in the next part, you'll see that I'll go over um, if you have a continuous variable. So I started by writing these three um, different sets on the board. Um, and as a friendly reminder, I will write down what, how you can calculate the mean, and then I will also calculate the mean for all three of these. This is something you're probably familiar with. Um, you add up all the numbers and you divide by the number of terms there are. And that will give you the mean. And if you find, um, and if you calculate the mean for these three sets, you'll find that it's 10 for all of them. However, you can probably tell by looking, they are pretty different. So today, we're going to introduce um, a way to measure variation. So that's done with range, standard deviation, and variance. So range is pretty simple. I'm going to go over it anyway. Um, by definition, I will write it down. It is given by r x max minus x min. Uh, so that is pretty simple. Um, you take the maximum value of x from the set, you take the minimum value of x from the set, and then you just subtract them, and that should give you uh, the range. So as you can see, for the first one, the maximum value is 20, minimum is 0, your range is 20. Second one, 22 minus 4 is 18. Third one, 10 minus 10 is 0. So this is a very quick and easy way to calculate some level of variation. However, there are issues with this. Um, it's very sensitive to outliers, so if you had a term 100 and the rest of your terms were from 0 to 10, you would have a very large range even though only one term is out of uh, the typical uh, range boundaries. But um, so that's the range you've probably seen before. Another method of, which gives a different perspective is standard deviation. And this is a lot less sensitive to outliers, so this is also very useful. OK, so I'll write this definition of standard deviation for you on the board right now. OK, so as you can see, um, this is always going to be positive. You just sum the um, each x term subtracted by the mean, uh, which you can calculate through this. You square it, and you divide it by the number of terms minus 1. So if you get another data point, you'll be summing another term here and squaring it. And you'll also get a slightly larger n, so slightly larger n minus 1. Um, so I will be doing an example with uh, set number 1. And if you can do that, then you can do all three. So I'm going to start by calculating. Uh, the sum of x minus x, x bar squared. So as we can see, we have 0. Um, average is 10, as I said earlier. The next term is 2. Uh, so you start by summing um, all of these terms together, and you will get 100 plus 64 plus 0 plus 64. plus 100, and this is equal to 328. So after you do that, um, that's just this part. You have to also uh, divide it by n minus 1, which is going to be 4. And you also have to take the square root of that. So uh, square root of 328 divided by 4, that will give you your standard deviation of 9.06. Um, so uh, that is the standard deviation. And next is variance, and variance is very simply um, is equal to s squared. So that would just be um, this squared. It would be, I'll write it down, sum x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1. And both of these are very useful. They come up. They're less sensitive to outliers. Uh, so that would make uh, the variance for this. 82, and this is the standard dev deviation. Uh, and those are all both pretty straightforward, pretty simple to calculate. They're very useful, um, less susceptible to outliers, and gives you some pretty good information about your sets. So um, I'm, I will give the values of the other two. So for two, standard deviation is equal to 7.48. Uh, the variance is equal to 56.
or number three. Um, standard deviation is zero. Variance is also zero. And that is pretty clear from the fact that number three is all tens. Therefore, when you're summing the difference between the average and each x term to, um, together, well, the average difference between the average and the, and the, um, the mean and the x term, each x term is 10, it's going to be zero, which is why you get standard deviation of zero, also variance of zero. Uh, so that's it for um, range standard deviation and variance. Again, if you want to see this done in continuous random variable cases, then check out our part two of this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more statistics and probability videos, feel free to click, uh, check right here. Um, if you want to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, click here. And if you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, you can click right here. And if you are on a mobile device, you can click the I in the top, right, uh, top corner over there. Um, and that should give you the same links. Thank you very much for watching.